I wish I could tell you more about them, but... Anyways. If you come across any unusual ingredients in your travels, be sure to remember me and bring them here. Anyway. The reason we need the refined frost salt, if you can, in case you didn't read it, there is a certain door barring passage into the actual glade, which is where the night is and everything, which can only be opened with the correct ingredient. Mages apparently tended to use these magic locks because, well, it's better than a lockpick. It's better than a lock, which you can just lockpick. It's also the only one of these doors in the entire game, so it makes me think this is all complete bullshit. I mean, really. There is a lock that you can only open if you have the correct ingredient. There's a door. You can only open this if you have... Uh, the refined frost salt. Yet for some reason, common locks, which any thief worth the weight in salt can open, are the standard. I do not comprehend. Anyway. The fearsome monster here is the glorified frost astronaut. You also note that being in the glade itself, or rather touching the mist, is actually damaging. You can see the uh, night and the frost atom off in there. What I wish to know is how from this did a tear get, say, here? Also funny that I forgot, which I'm probably going to show, which I might be able to show anyway, is that the reward for this quest is a complete utter bust, in a way. Yes, your character magically knows how many there are. It beats having to manually look all over the place until you're satisfied, so... That's better than perhaps a warm fire. Naturally, if you're a Nord, that area isn't going to phase you. Also funny, this glade here is protected by this um, random bullshit thing here. This random bullshit uh, hill. And if you have good acrobatics, and if the game isn't fucking you, you can indeed jump up it. If you find a weakness like here. What you'll find is a rather horrific empty wasteland. See, there's a line there of stuff. Which suddenly and quite abruptly falls into that. And if you manage to get over that, which I think I can using my uh, spell here, you fall into water. That's how the game's made, folks. That's how the game is made. If the vast emptiness here didn't tip you off, there is in fact nothing of interest up here, so... I'll just go back. I can't believe how fast I found those, uh... tears, by the way. And go report my success. And show you why this quest is a bit of a doozy. At least the reward is. 
I've been caught, but instead of, you know, attacking me, these wolves are actually now my friends. This is awesome. Question, but is that... No. I guess I still have to go for the Dark Brotherhood and shit. Oh boy. Work is never done. I'm not surprised, of course. Anyway, since I can... Teleport Leo in! Which has a soul trap, uh... Look, instead of a... Uh, detect magic like divine intervention, I see. Interesting. Guy is still up. What can I do for you, Archmage? Is he hell? You're shitting me. Gotta be here somewhere. What? Well met, guildmate. Observe. You look like you've seen some travel. If I mention the refined frost salts or something else here... Yes, I've heard of mages who seal portals with an ingredient as a key. Makes the door impossible to lockpick. Refined frost salts sounds like something that Juliana would specialize in. You may want to go back to the university and speak to her. I think I lost my chance, but if you mention, if you come back to him and mention that uh, the glade is, you know, cold as shit, he'll actually give you a few potions that protect you from it. Funnily enough, the potions are leveled, and the highest level potions are worth far, far more than the actual reward. Which is funny. You found five of the tears? Fantastic! This turned out better than I expected. Perhaps a little bit of a bonus is in order. Thank you. They're the pride of my collection. The tears look beautiful in my collection. A thousand thanks once again. He's gonna save out a lot from now on. Well, here's a fine one. Speak freely. Hmm. Guess I could do a Dark Brotherhood quest, but I'm getting kind of used to having very good, very high fame and people not being complete jackasses to me because I'm, well. A murdering idiot. Conversely... Eh, whatever. Oh wait, why am I fast traveling? I can just do this! Eh, forget it. I ought to show the uh, Dark Brotherhood. It is the... quote-unquote best of the quest lines in the game. Although I start to wonder if I didn't already advance to the point where I can get uh, that one quest. You know the one I'm talking about. Anyone who's played this game know, knows what that quest is. I don't have the key, do I? Fudge monkeys. That's fine, that's fine, it's... I can just go the long way. The long way because it has two or three loading screens that I otherwise could have avoided. So. Dark Brotherhood, where was I? Must accept a quest from him, huh? 
Hello, sorry for having been uh, not been in here for forever. You are like a dark gift from the night mother herself. Please. Well now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I have no more contracts for you. Our time working together has come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva here in the sanctuary. She will be providing all your contracts from now on and is waiting for you as we speak. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well, and I choose now to extend that gift to you. Shall I use my dark powers and turn you into a vampire? This guy can turn into a vampire. Even if you have 100% uh, disease resistance, this guy will still turn into a vampire. I don't want it. Yes, I can understand your trepidation. For it is not every day one is invited to join the ranks of the undead, eh? If you ever change your mind, fear not. My offer will always be open. Simply return and speak to me about the dark gift and we can proceed. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Being a vampire is a real pain in the ass because of the uh, sun damage. It fills my heart with warmth to see you again, brother. Yeah, I've been gone for several months. Ah, greetings. I have been waiting for you. As Vicente surely told you, your time working with him has come to an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. A uh, contract? In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? Yes. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Your target is a high elf named Thalian. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know which district he calls home, which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest you speak to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can offer any advice. Ah, yes, there is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? I mentioned him briefly before, but I'm pretty sure no one remembers that, so... No, never heard of him. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood and he becomes rather irate when our duties take us to the Imperial City. When that happens, he tends to make our lives uncomfortable. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? If possible, do away with Phalian some place out of the way, definitely indoors with no other people around, a secure location with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go, and may Slithus go with you. Thank you. Let's see, who has the hint for this mission? Good day. Contract. I do so love pursuing a contract in the Imperial City. The alleys, the shadows, the challenge of evading Philida's legion troops. <laughs> I envy you. There aren't a whole lot of any of that in the Imperial May City. You walk always in the shadow of cities. Obviously. But that's fine. Let's see, your Jack. Yes, you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Contract. The elves of the Imperial City are a fairly close knit community. One of them will have at least heard of Phalian. You should ask around. And that's the hint. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Of course, you know you're looking for an elf. Gee, could he be in the... 
Elven Gardens District? Yeah. Yes, dearest brother. Contract. Know what I'd do? Talk to Falian. Learn who he is. Maybe then you can lead him to a secluded place. Then, when you're alone, you know. <laughs> okay. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, well, you know. Let's see, and of course I need to get the... Advice of the orc, because... He's hilarious. You. Hail, my brother. I know what you're thinking. Contract. Now this is what I'm talking about. You kill him up close, face to face, and you still get the bonus. <laughs> I wish all the contracts were like that. Happy hunting, my brother. Sadly, they're not. But that's what makes the con makes the contract interesting. Now, of course, I know Falian's gimmick and all, but... I don't know the exact time he goes about his gimmick, so I... I'm going to have to do a bit of detective work. Which is sad. People like you more if you have higher personality. Was that ever... in any game at all... useful? Does there exist a single game where you can't drop personality or what or whatever and just be completely fine because it's so useless? Jeez. Really wonder what the frick this thing is pointing at. Well, what is it, citizen? We are of course going to have to wait until the district comes alive, so let's wait. We have waited. What is it? This is the Alvin Garden district, right? So that's a North, that's an Argonian, and that's a bunch of Bretons or Bosmer. You know, for an Alvin Garden district, it sure as hell seems to be devoid of elves. Yes? Nope, not an elf. This is getting downright silly. That thing is still pointing to the market district. I suspect it's pointing to the sewers, actually. Hey, you. Speak. That guy is the replacement for, um... Hieronymus Lex, I believe. Let's talk to him. Can I help you, citizen? He has nothing to say. A short stay in our lovely Imperial prison should cool your enthusiasm for a life of crime. The drunk tank, in particular, has a unique aroma. Yep. Great. Move along. Yes, he isn't a replacement. Also, I have to call a day here, so when we come back, the search for the guy I'm supposed to murder. Be right back.